Wagwan Internet Mandem. It is Multiplier here for another studio vlog where I buy a piece of very essential musical gear for the studio. And in this one, I bought a candle. I think I haven't actually opened the box yet, but let's have a look. Here it is, here it is. It's a box and it's from Am Amazon. And then, right, let's get, let's get inside. Right, right, I've just got to do this one handed, which might, the, uh, the, must open the box. Right, um, this is not a how-to on getting into boxes, by the way. Can I do this with one hand? We're about to find out together. Was that good? I might have to use two hands for this. Right, I'm going to use two hands. Actually, I just had a thought. I'm kind of going into it at the wrong angle. Should be going in through the top. That's what she said. Is that what? Not really. Yes. Right. We're in. We are in. That's what she said again. I have a wide range of jokes, and that is one of them. Now I'm sticking to it. Right. So this is hopefully a candle. I didn't actually check before I started this video, but I haven't ordered that much off Amazon recently. Always shake it. Don't want to break all the synthesizers inside. Oh, is that is that a candle? What's that? Oh, I ordered, ordered a lighter as well. I forgot about this. <laughs> really good. Right, let's open this. Ow, my fingers. I totally forgot that I ordered a Zippo colour. Oh, look at that. I ordered this because it was shiny and I, need, I needed something to light the candle. Oh, look at the shininess. I got it because it, look at the, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can almost see me in it. That's, that's weird. You can, you can see how I'm filming it using my phone. Oh, how beautiful is that? That is amazing. I haven't even got to the, the candle bit yet, and I can, I must admit, I've never really used one of these before, but I'm sure you can open, you can light candles with these, right? Um, maybe, I'll, I'll figure that out later. But, I have all the skills. Right, uh, right, over there, right. You can, you're, you're good, get that, right. Good, so that is the, something I forgot about, but that's a new part of the video, right? Let's just get into the candle. Smash it up everywhere. Right, so that is that. Good at that. What's going on there? Amazon maniac. What are you doing? Pass them. Oh, you, 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 you. Why doesn't it a simpler box? Like the Ableton Push 2 did. That was good. Um, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Does it need anything else? We look inside the box. We'll always look inside the box. Make sure we haven't lost anything. And I'm looking through the phone. Let's look. Not through the phone. Now we're good. We're good. We're good. Right. So that is. Over there. Um, this, is, this, is, this is what candles look like. Um, although it's it's all wrapped in its protective sheath. Josh, get, get in. I need to see this. Gently. I'm not even on the candle at all now. Beep, 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 beep. All right, I need to answer. Look at that. It's a candle and it smells like vanilla. I am so excited. I can already smell the vanilla and it's not even lit. I mean, imagine what it's going to smell like once I've lighted it on fire with, with that. It's gonna, it's gonna be so good and the studio is gonna be so vanilla-y. And let's be honest, vanilla-y studios always produce to bangers. You're probably thinking, why, why did you why did you get a candle multiplier for the studio? That doesn't make your sounds any better. It's a funny looking serum preset this, isn't it? What's going on there? It's mental great. Right. Let's get inside you. How do I get inside of you? That's what she said. Using my muscles. I have so many muscles. Look at that, look at that. Even comes in its own little carry case. I'm gonna take that off. It's ruining the vibe, you're ruining the vibe, you stupid. You're ruining the vibe, get off, you vibe thief. No, don't you just hate when that happens. It's totally killing the vibe. It's trying to create a vibe and then that's killing it. Right, maybe if I just spin it around. It's... I can still see it, this is a nightmare. Right, I need to get, I have a solution to this. I have something called Google, which I used to get wax off surfboards. I reckon that will sort that out nice and quick. Also, this feels quite empty. Does it not come with the stuff inside to make it go on fire? The, um, it feels pretty empty. I might have to go out and purchase something to put inside to, to make the fire come out. Obviously, duh, of course they're not, they're not obviously not gonna uh, deliver it with fire liquid inside, are they? I should have thought that through. So I'm gonna go out and buy some of that 
so I can actually, can you, are you allowed to throw them on the, on the ground? I've just noticed something. Can you see it? Can you see what's happened? If I do a bit of this, can you see what's happened? This is what I get for buying a cheap candle off Amazon when I should have probably gone to a candle shop and bought a really expensive one. Um, so yeah, notice, notice, look at the side, look at the side, look at the side there. It had all melted. It's obviously been stored like that, some maniac, some ruffian at the candle Amazon shop had probably just left it on its side and probably left it near a, some sort of hot thing, maybe a stove, and then it's melted a bit, not too much, just a little bit, and it's melted, uh, and then it's all gone up the side. Oh no, should have gone to the, probably a real life candle shop and bought a candle just to make sure I don't get faulty goods, because that is, that's unacceptable. I mean, what sort of candle person Worth. I mean, it looks right from that angle, actually. Uh, just maybe I'll, I'll place it in the room so it's the other way around. It might be right, actually. But yes, what I'm going to go do is buy some fire liquid for this because in, in hindsight, it's quite obvious they weren't going to ship it with the liquid inside because then it might catch on fire. So yeah, I'm going to go buy some fire liquid so we can make the fire and then I'm going to wait for it to get dark because it's also quite bright outside. I mean, it's cloudy, but it, it's still in the middle of the day. So I'm going to wait for it to get dark and then I'm going to light the candle on fire and get all the beautiful uh, vanillas. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, it smells delicious already. Oh, I quite want to lick it. I'm not going to lick it. It will smell even better, I reckon, on fire. And it will also provide a lovely ambience that will improve my productions endlessly, I reckon. I am back. It's not quite fully dark yet. You might call it in between the lighty darky or sunset. And uh, yeah, the reason why I'm showing you now is so I can light the candle, make sure it works while I can still see kind of what is going on. And you may have noticed I, I, I had, to, had to buy matches because I, I could not find any of the, the fire liquid for this really cool colour thing. So I'm going to have to order that off the Amazon and just light it using the old fashioned method using a fire stick. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. I do need two hands, so you might have to imagine me doing this, but you, you can do that. Look at it! It's a real live candle and it's everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. It's beautiful, it smells nice, and it, it's setting a cool little vibe. Although it is still, as I said earlier, not quite dark outside. Therefore, I think I'm gonna have to maybe leave it for a bit till it gets dark outside, and then the real vibe, the real ambience will happen, and that'll be a beautiful thing. But yes, I am excited. There is a candle in the studio now, studio candle. And now I'll be able to get much more in the production mindset with the vanilla flavor. Rumour has it Diplo only ever produces with vanilla flavour candles. So now, probably because of false logic, I can produce like, look at that, that is like produce like Diplo. I got, got, got really excited by that angle. It's a good angle. Yeah, so yeah, I can, I can produce just like Diplo now, I reckon, because I got a nice little candle. So that's exciting. And what I'm going to do is let more time elapse between now and the future so it gets fully dark and then I can properly show you the vibe of the studio candle, yeah! I love the candle, it is so good! Now I have it all vibed up with the green and stuff, but what I do need to do is actually show you a photograph because that has a greater dynamic range and that better captures the vibe, so I'll do that now. Check it out, how cool is that? So much vibe, and in real life it's even more vibey because it's in more, it's like, it's like 3D, it's like, you know how you get 3D, it's like 3D 4K with extra dimensions of, of vanilla and time and, and beauty and everything. So it's amazing in real life, absolutely love it. Naturally, this probably won't be its final resting position on the middle of, in the middle even, of the Ableton Push 2 because it kind of gets in the way of me using the device since I don't want to put my hand in the candle and also it's kind of sitting on the cover so I, I can't even press the button. So I will have to find a new location for it but that's okay that's part of the fun maybe even I'll try different locations who knows I could maybe put it over over here just right next to the Ableton Push 2 how beautiful is that I mean you can't even tell on video because of the dynamic range maybe I do need to buy the iPhone 7 Duh. does that even have a better dynamic range for video probably who knows haven't done the research yet all I know is that it smells delicious in here and I like the candle. What I think I'm going to do is really step up my candle game in the studio. Maybe buy lots of candles, not too many, just lots. And I buy lots of candles and have a lovely little beautiful environment in here with all the candles.
candles because I've seen many pictures of people's studios, but none of their studios have candles. And I'm like, why don't you have candles in the studio? Actually, that's not really true. It wasn't until yesterday I did I decide that I wanted a candle in the studio. But yesterday I decided and I just ordered one. And now I'm a massive convert to candle life. I mean, this is a pretty basic candle. It's almost like your beginner's entry level candle. It's in a simple, simple glass sort of tub, simple design, simple size. It's your, it's your, it's your standard, it's your entry level. It's the sort of candle that you can handle, especially if you're new to the candle world, which I am, but I am excited. I'm going to buy many more candles and I will have pro I'll probably tell you about those too because why not? Yeah, so candles. I mean, I could even, I could even, I'm not, I don't even just have to put it over here. I could try and stand up and maneuver it. Don't knock over the Prosecco. Maneuver it over here. This feels weird and cultish, me walking around holding a candle, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put it on my Ableton Push 1. So there's some sort of uh, symmetry. I can't even see at all over here. I mean, it's just, just pure, pure darkness. I mean, oh, you can kind of see some green now. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going have some green in the shot, otherwise you've just got pure candleage. It looks darker on the camera than it does in real life, but either way, either way, either way, I just love it. I just love it candle so much. I mean, I mean, I think I'm single-handedly changing the game in the, the, the game of EDM music production studios where everyone's stuck in their ways. No, 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 I'm not stuck in my way. I'm a pioneer, a YouTuber, a maverick. Putting candles in the studio and doing a video about it. Candles.